<laughs> Hello and welcome to The Last Standy, a board game podcast coming from you for, from four, exi four exciting countries across Europe. I'm joined here today by Alessio, Audrey, I'm your host Alexis, and we are thrilled to welcome our first returning guest from Into the Unknown Studio. Say hello to everyone, Marcin. Uh, hey guys, T today I'm, I'm representing the fifth European <laughs> Itzki, uh, I, that's a really hard to pronounce name, I know, um, from Into the Unknown, uh, really glad, glad you're having me here, so glad to be here. Glad to have you back. Hi, uh, unfortunately, Frank. Fen is a l coming a little bit late because they are grabbing something uh, fun at the post office at the moment, but uh, they'll they'll be there. But uh, they'll they'll be there in uh, just a few minutes. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, uh, how are you doing, Ma uh, Martin? You were just telling us that uh, COVID has hit the studio pretty hard, but uh, oh, thankfully yourself are doing are doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I'm 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 I'm, I'm still yeah. We've we've uh, gone to. Re um... I'm, 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 I'm still, yeah, we've, we've uh, gone to, re um, <clears throat> to remote work um, in the latter part of last week, but I was pretty sure I, I, I'll have it, and I tested negative, so, 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 so that's awesome. That's also awesome because I'm recording uh, the Kingdom Spallorn trailer. Oh, great. Having a sore throat for that is going to be perfect. Uh, yeah, so, 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 so uh, if, if I was out, then that... <laughs> <laughs> I, I would miss out. I, I do like those. Uh, I, I'm not that bad. Uh, that, that bad. I'm not that good at the at, at the front in front of the camera. I'm all to, to talk about the uh, games we do. So, well, that's that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm pretty pretty thrilled. Love love those promos. I, I had the director for uh, for <laughs> my company. Uh, he, he made me uh, walk, stand, and say a sentence like uh, thirteen times. <laughs> <laughs> into the unknown is behind uh, Iron Trespass Odyssey. This interview is mostly going to be about uh, your next project, Kingdoms Fallen, that's going to launch mm -hmm. uh, relatively soon on Kickstarter. Yeah, in, in, in two weeks. But before we uh, we talk on to that, before we uh, we talk on to that, uh, would you like to to say something about uh, Iron Trespass Odyssey? <laughs> sure. You start this so innocently, and then we'll <laughs> we'll talk uh, two hours about. It. <laughs> well, we don't it, have two hours. It, it is a game that is worth spending hours. On. Have two hours. It, it, it is a game that is worth spending hours on. But uh, if you can simply uh, simply say how it's things a trap. Are, are shaping up presently. In short, we we we've uh, we've just published our uh, rules. Uh, for the game, so everyone can uh, can comment on them and give us feedback, so we can incorporate it and and get to producing, and get to producing, and we've also um, unveiled our our special gift to the community for their patience uh, for waiting for Eon Trespass uh, Odyssey. The Elios the... target token. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I I really like that 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 miniature, and I think it's I, again it's it, 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 it looks that that miniature, and I think it's I, again it's it, it, it looks great, and <laughs> it's actually one of the larger pieces in that it's got the, that uh, large halo. We need more men. We need more <laughs> naked men, half naked men. We 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 debated if we should if we should do him completely naked. Uh, debate that if we should if we should do him completely naked, uh, if we should do you all should the have. Completely you should have. <laughs> uh, but I know I know we had we had uh, with with the first campaign and with Nymphs we had trouble with Kickstarter and with uh, uh, our um, Facebook po posts uh, we were being censored all, all the time. Um, Facebook po posts uh, we were being censored all, all the time. <laughs> for the even even though the nymphs are really I think they are really um tactfully yes. done. So unfortunately we couldn't have all the sausages. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe an unofficial expansion. Uh, coming soon into the uh, unknown all the fan. Call me when it happens. Yeah, in, into the you know what the unknown means here. <laughs> um so yeah, so so yeah, so so basically we're we're at the um, end of production. We, we're um, taking feedback on the um, rulebook. Uh, it's the Chinese New Year. Um, as, as soon as the factories um, are back up, we're, we're continuing with that. 
um, and we we will we'll, we'll ship as soon as possible. We we are estimating um, end of March, um, beginning of April. I'll have to check those dates uh, with our shipping company because it's. Um, it's always a bit uh, hard to to give a proper date for that, but um... yeah, but but we shipping in 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 the latter part of last year. Our our shipping company just said that we sh we shouldn't because it's 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 so hard to predict the prices, and there was this um, due to the logistics crisis. Yeah, um, there was this um, bidding war on each container, so so people were um, outbid on each container, so so people were um, outbid all the time for the space uh, and, and, and it started to get better and now I don't know what the Omicron waves impact uh, on this thing is so I'll need to talk with, with our shipping company but I'm if, even if there's a um, delay it won't be it won't but I'm if, even if there's a um, delay it won't be it won't be long as we're we're out of the woods let's say the the production the the design um, is, is complete production is ongoing and yeah. While I would love to talk for hours about Iron Trespass Odyssey, I think it's time to transition I think it's time to transition to Kingdom Fallen. So I'll, I'll introduce it to your listener for those that haven't followed your uh, uh, newsletters. Uh, Kingdom Fallen is going to be a solo cooperative uh, dungeon delver for one to four players with a focus on loot. Uh, and that focus on, uh, as you uh, as you you mentioned, uh, personal stories and short delves into those uh, those kingdoms. Yeah, it looks it looks really interesting from the the way uh, the way I've seen it. Uh, it it has definitely like some uh, very gothic fantasy uh, inspirations, and I think that it it just it's very gorgeous. Thank you. Well, um, even though the fantasy space is really crowded, there's not that much of like really faithful fantasy in the, if if you, if if that makes sense and that a lot of the a lot of fantasy is 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 diluted uh and we wanted to have something that harks back to those uh those uh, older yeah absolutely and and we also uh, we, we are also fans of, of video games of the soul series so they they also love uh, european castles so uh so yeah uh, that was also an, ins an inspiration for us um just to just to Mm, the way they incorporate um, a lot of um, we we do that too. We do that with Ian Trespass Odyssey, but here it's a more direct comparison. Okay, so we we can say that the game is going on Kickstarter, right? Yeah. On the fifteenth of February. Exactly. At twelve at twelve a.m. in some place. <laughs> at twelve at twelve a.m. in some place. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's probably some something around 12 a.m. But for the United States, I think it's P PST, so it's it's gonna be um, evening in in Europe then. Okay. Something like, yeah, something like 7 8 p.m. Uh, yeah, something like 7 8 p.m. Uh, Central European, if the, if that makes sense. This interview will probably go out one day before the before the Kickstarter campaign mm -hmm. launches. So yes. <laughs> oh, okay. great. Okay, so shall we begin? Yes, Absolutely. we have a few questions to uh, to ask. Well, <laughs> here to answer those questions. I'm thrilled. So, where are those questions? <laughs> blink, blink. Okay, uh, I'll, go, I'll go first. Uh, we said that, uh, it's, uh, that Kingdom's Follower will be a dungeon delver, which is not a dungeon crawl. The, the, the particular, pa the, the very peculiar part of this game is that each character will have uh, their own personal quest and uh, the game is kind of completed when the character is completed, right? Yeah, well, well yes, and, and like this is... Uh, the, <laughs> you found with, uh, with Kingdoms Forlorn. Um, is that you're right? We'll, 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 uh, you'll, you'll go delving uh, to each of the kingdoms and that delving is um, semi-random in, in that uh, you, you don't know what cards are coming up in the uh, in the kingdom uh, text. It, um, way of um, knowing where you want to go and what you want to achieve. Um, so, so it's um, it's really a tactical um, way of uh, moving through through that delve. Like uh, that, you have ways to mitigate lag. Um, it's not just drawing cards and you know um 
as each of, of the knights in the game has their own quest. And a lot of those quests require you to either gather specific clues or to find a specific place to do something specific. Uh, you are always informed um, where you might, might find those things on the uh, Kingdom card. Uh, which means that you, if 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 you're determined, you, you will get what you want. It's only a matter of uh, how much you're gonna pay for it. Okay, yeah, th th that's clear. Uh, so th there will be an, a general overarching narrative, or we will just the stories of each character, which will intersect and then create the story. Yeah, so so I've I've talked about the delve because that's the like the foundation of, of what I'm gonna <laughs> talk now. Yeah. In that uh, in that um, this is the delve, but uh, each of the knights um, comes with a night book or story. This is their their narrative campaign, um, and this is just for them. They are the star of their own of their own story, uh, of their own branching story. In that they they they've got a set. Um, um, set number of um, quests they, they will fulfill um, doing some of those prohibit you from doing others making choices will will, will steer you towards one of several outcomes and this is your personal story and each night has has one and when you go to the to the delve those stories begin to interact with each other uh, in surprising ways uh, so uh, in surprising ways uh, so uh, and this is this is so so in a way um, you may play solo you may play because uh, for example fan fan got the game uh, today and he wants to start playing as soon as possible his friends aren't around so he wants to start playing so he can start playing and playing as soon as possible his friends aren't around so he wants to start playing so he can start playing and play one of uh, let's say the chapter one of one of the knights and then his friends can join him with their own knights and play the game um, further uh, without like there, there's you can you can further uh, without like there, there's you can you can drop in and drop out into a campaign whenever you like because um, your story is tied to your knight and uh, your your um, character um, progression is also tied to your knight. Um, so those, for example, you, you've got eight eight friends, and each one of them has a different knight. You can um, swap um, during the game night. Uh, every, not everyone needs to be at the exact session because the most the, the, the most important is only developed when they are there. Okay, so basically the story advances only when the character is present. Yeah, and there is a, a, each kingdom outside outside of it. Each kingdom has a story of its own, um, which you um, slowly uncover through um, uh, kingdom encounters, and, uh, kingdom encounters, and to some story missions that um, flow from that. So, so there's uh, so so um, in comparison to ATO, which is um, more narratively driven, and, and that it, it's got uh, it's really it's the ATO story is really focused. Um, while here it's exploring this kingdom at your own pace, you, you're you um, experiencing your story at your own pace. Um, what we're trying to do with, with, with this is to make a really narratively story-driven game that you can also um, drop in and drop out uh, whenever you want. To compare it to in the board game space, there's there's a few video games which, which, which try to do it, um, but uh, none of the like things like um, late 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 stage MMOs or something like mm -hmm. Destiny, um, things that that have a persistent world where you can you can drop in and drop out and play with friends, but um, in they have a really deeply narratively driven personal story uh, that you go through, and on top of that, when you're finished with the story, uh, there is a really beefy post game uh, in that. Your story is just the beginning of your of your game. It's it's um, uh, um, it's it's um, uh, um, a night story. It takes around uh, thirty hours to complete. Of course, it's uh, you, you'll not see everything. You'll not, you not you will not unlock every every possible um, progression path if if with only one 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 campaign. But that's time for for one 
full um, playthrough of only one 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 campaign, but that's time for for one full um, playthrough of of a night, and then you're um, open to experiment to to go on more difficult um, hunts, more, more dangerous delves. Um, yeah, so we're we're building uh, elves. Um, yeah, so we're we're building uh, F like the, the the story is just the beginning for for us, and and that uh, there's uh, we wanted we wanted to do something completely different with, with um, than ATO. Yeah. Um, so, so we want yeah because we we, we felt that uh, at the time uh, and we do love the uh, love those and we do love uh, long format narration etc. But um, at the same time we thought that not, not everyone has the time to play all of these games so we wanted to create a game that they can play they can also play in in short bursts yeah I, um, I, uh, play with the specific knights and you can then explore those, those different stories every time that you play but you don't feel that needs to have a, a constant campaign running over uh, multiple months yeah and and, and well, well you, if, if you want you can that's not needed to experience the game yeah, and, and and the game is is uh, well, and 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 well, you, if if you want, you can. That's not needed to experience the game. Yeah, and and, and the game is is uh, what well, we're, we're, what we're trying to achieve is that uh, we've got this um, a smart director uh, mechanic we call the presence, which uh, tries to balance the um, difficulty. Of... Uh, what well, we're, we're, what we're trying to achieve is that uh, we've got this. Um, a smart director uh, mechanic we call the presence, which uh, tries to balance the um, difficulty of, of of the game based on your levels. Um, so you can, if 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 you're the kind of player who wants to you're really engage in the story of your night and you want to finish it, and your friends are never around for you to finish the campaign, uh, you can go through your campaign, and then when they when they come, you can play your higher level night with their lower level nights. And the game will balance itself out, so the challenge is still there. Uh, world with some permanent bonuses, uh, so those others, those other, those other their players will feel that um, you, you 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 did finish your campaign and, and you did make your mark on the on the game world. Wonderful. Speaking of the game world, uh, we can count yeah. four distinct uh, kingdoms that have been disclosed so far. Yeah. Uh, the Sunken Kingdoms, the Principality of Stone, the Barony of Bountiful Harvest, and the Red Kingdom. Is that it? Um... Yeah, yeah. That, that, those are those have been officially shown. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the question is obviously, uh, are they over? And uh... shown. Yeah. Uh, well, the question is obviously, uh, are they over? And uh, will you announce over during the, the as the campaign starts? Yeah. So 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 yeah. So there are others, quite a few actually. We, we were pretty proud of, of, of what we were able to, to do, um, considering the, the times. Um, um, considering the, the times. Um, but yeah, and, 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 and we hope to um, reveal them. Uh, one thing is that um, we, um, we, over the years, uh, as we've um, tracked various campaigns on Kickstarter, it, it became apparent that many companies uh, really try, treat Kickstarter and that the campaign is structured completely ahead of time and it's, it's just like a, a really mechanical unlocking of, of those stretch goals etc etc i don't know if you you, you know to do that <laughs> yeah well we, we we don't approach it that way so we may reveal them or we may not reveal them we'll not reveal them we, we'll, we'll see how the uh, how the campaign goes and maybe we'll do a, a um, for example, a vote. We will we'll show you two kingdoms, two possible kingdoms. We might go next, and 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 you'll choose which which of those you'd like to see. So it, it will be a bit interesting. Like to, we, we'd like the sort of stuff. What I can say is that one of the kingdoms will probably be close to heart to at least one of of the people here on 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 the podcast because it's um, loosely based on um, end of medieval um, period um, slash beginning of renaissance Italy. If, if you need a consultant whenever you want <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah so, so yeah 
Well, you, you can see I, I I can talk and talk and talk, so that's... And we will let you. That, yeah, exactly. That's what our <laughs> listener will want you to hear. Um, they, <laughs> this is about you and uh, Kingdoms for Long, so... Well, <laughs> really, um, develop, like, creates endless diversions. Uh, so, so having uh, questions asked probably will 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 get me on track. <laughs> no, <laughs> just... actually, actually, I I find that uh, if you just talk free form, you are actually I find that uh, if you just talk free form, you are actually prone to giving out some hints and some <laughs> <laughs> some, some sneak peek. I, I am actually worried about what is doing Fen. <laughs> What Fen is doing. <laughs> Fen is posting plenty of pictures of everything. But what is doing Fen? What Fen is doing. <laughs> Fen is posting plenty of pictures of everything that we've uh, that he, they have received. Yeah, that's great. Um, so yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. For our for our listeners, I burst in and said, "Hi, I've been picking up the game, and I just got here." And then I promptly forgot to record anything, <laughs> and then I've been in the background just photographing all the bits and pieces for the guys to see. And before we get into anything more, I do have a question, um, which I'd sure. like to ask: Are there going to be more knights than just the four pictured here? Yes. Brilliant. Okay, more la <laughs> more lady knights in particular is what I'm super into. Yes. Okay, great. Thanks, because like <laughs> Kara is in the um, Facebook banner we have. If for for, for yeah for for people who are uh, eagle-eyed, you can you can go to to Facebook and see we've got the, this crusader type. Yeah, I suck at Facebook, probably. <laughs> I, uh, I have a, a quick question to to ask you. Uh, one thing that I really enjoyed about uh, ATO so far is that you've published a very well-made uh, TTS mod that allowed people to, to test yeah. and, and see how the game played and give you mm -hmm. uh, some feedback. Uh, I wanted to ask you um, how it's worked on your end to have this, uh, this mod in the... Um, on your end to have this, uh, this mod in the... Um, out in the nature, uh, and if that, um, if you are planning to do something similar with Kingdom Fall Down, if you already know, yeah. So we we've 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 used the mod more extensively over the years. Um, it's it's more robust. Uh, like there there's a version that's it's more robust. Uh, like there there's a version that's public, and there's a version that's not public, that has more content. Uh, for for our testers, uh, blind testers uh, that are not. Um, Office based, and yeah, and we're doing a TTS uh, mod again for Kingdoms for Learn, and we're actually do and we're actually doing uh, <clears throat> a bit more this oh. time. In that, uh, yeah, well, well, the, the first uh, when when we first launched um, the TTS mod um, around the first that time of the first campaign, we only had the Hakaton fight, I think, and we added the Labyrinth Towers right later. Now we're launching right later. Now we're launching throughout the campaign. We'll be unlocking both the Ignite boss battle and the uh, Iron Cast Dead mob battle, and we'll also be um, unlocking the delving. So we can see all the aspects of the game into a short uh, demo version. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. time limitations and and being short staffed. We that, then we only had uh, us three, the the founding. Uh, uh, members of uh, ITU to, to to work with everything, and we we had to outsource a lot, but still we were <laughs> so worked uh, overworked that we 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 just didn't have time to to put it to TTS mod. Uh, we'll be also of course post posting the PDF um, rules and the PDF storybook. That is something that uh, I think really needs to be commended about Into the Unknown is that you're. You've been very transparent with every aspect of your uh, of the game so far, and this is one of the reasons why I I was really happy to um, to get into uh, ATO, yes. and that I will be very happy to get into Kingdoms Fallen. I think. Well, well, thank you. Well, this is something like we we uh, I don't know what, how it is for for other Kickstarter companies, but we 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 do feel that this is community based. We, we we do feel that this is community based, and 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 so that we are um, beholden to to, to 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 our backers, like they they deserve to know what's 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 going on. Um, and I always think that honesty is the way to go, um, especially with with something like this, which does require with something like this, which does require you to um, pledge for a product that may not arrive for a couple of 
of years. Um, so yeah, so we we are always always transparent. We always want to hear your feedback, even if it's not good for something. Um, and yeah, well, yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> Two minutes ago, uh, Fen uh, linked us a picture of uh, miniatures that they currently have in their hands. And uh, it looks like they're close to the same quality as what you've shown so far for the production sample of uh, Eon Trespass Odyssey. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe even better. It's hard to see on the pictures the exact scale uh, of the miniatures, but uh, can you talk a bit about yeah, that if you change absolutely. the process? Or... Uh, ju just before you answer, I just want to say that egg knight looks so good. <laughs> Abdi Dabdi. I love the egg. Okay, you, you can answer Thank the question. You. Sorry. <laughs> Abdi Dabdi. I love the egg. Okay, you, you can answer Thank the question. You. Sorry. <laughs> well, uh, probably the, the most, like, there's there's a few things I think that go, go into this. One is that we are more experienced than we were when we started with um, ATO. And we are also more experienced with work um, ATO. And we are also more experienced with working with the factory. We spent a fair bit of, of last year going back and forth with the factory on like we, I think, I think they, they may not like us there <laughs> anymore <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because we may be very one of those, uh, those have, uh, have a few more notes. Um, and we, when we fought for like, when you, when you go from, from a model to, to plastic or from a resin miniature to a, a plastic miniature, um, there are some things that will, will have to be changed. And we, we fought for every, every change we wanted to miniatures um, are, um, so yeah, so we were continuing on that front. Um, and we also know how to better, like how to, because we, um, we, we've got a few sculptors that work with us from the start and we also, um, do some freelance, um, con we, we send some freelance contracts, um, con we, we send some freelance contracts. Um, and some, some, sometimes a, um, sculptor is great, but, um, they don't know exactly how to work for miniatures specifically. What, what to do, uh, what, what can be achieved in the, on the miniature. Once we, we what, what to do, uh, what, what can be achieved in the, on the miniature. Once we, we really mm, mm, develop that sense, we, we could put together a guide for them uh, just to uh, just inform them what, 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 what they should um, uh, keep a lookout for, should um, uh, keep a lookout for. Etc. And and I think it it really um, it really shows. And finally, I think the um, production quality of uh, PVC miniatures is going um, up year after year. Yeah. So. Yeah, it is true as a general statement. Yeah, we we're doing with Eon Trespass isn't really wasn't really possible ten years ago. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So that's there, there, there's that. Too. We we are still at PVC plus ABS. Uh, that's it, the same plastic, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to comment about the plastic, the mm -hmm. standees. They are super cute. Uh, thank you, thank you. This is our first foray into into standees, so um, there is still something to. Uh, I think, like for example, I think uh, I, I would ne next time I do the uh, the bases a bit smaller. Or a, a slightly thinner look on them. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I'm I'm really I'm really impressed. And something like I, I I do like the acrylic standees as a concept. I think that's a good uh, middle of the road between a proper plastic miniature and just a cardboard uh, standee that might feel a little bit uh, not cheap. Yes. No. No. Not mm -hmm. fake. Just uh, just less. Less solid. Yeah, less solid. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I no, do agree. We've been talking about the miniature because uh, because it's it's artistic and all of that. But uh, something that I've noticed from the uh, pictures that Fen just posted is that the art of the game is really interesting. You've got that sort of art of the game is really interesting. You've got that sort of um, medieval uh, drawing uh, style that mm -hmm. you've you've adopted uh, that I think looks really really good. And it has also um, 
a slight comical uh, effect. Maybe it's just because it's the, the Ignite. Comical uh, effect. Maybe it's just because it's the, the Ignite and that the Ignite is, uh, by definition, <laughs> slightly funny. It, it, it's like the Manuensis. <laughs> The Ignite has also a yeah, lot of uh, egg puns into it, uh, the name of the cards. I was, um, uh, well, Kara was asking about the, the tone of the, the game, if it was just the Ignite mm -hmm. that was a little bit more comical or if it was something that was in general through the game. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yes and no, well, the, the game isn't comical in that it's, 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 it's pretty dark stuff when you, when you get down to it. Uh, film dark in doing some, everything like everything is awful and everything is dark everything is rainy um we, we we do like to have those shades of 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 teams in there um just so it be, it's more shocking uh when you uh, finally um, get to something really really dark um so no so no not every every creature is 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 um comical in, in in that way well i, I wouldn't say the egg knight is, is comic <laughs> some some of those we had fun doing some of those uh um ai cars well one of them is um, called alt boiled so that people can understand yeah <laughs> but we played with the hecaton on at uh, on ato and it has yeah. a lot of terrible pants <laughs> 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 so so we, we we do have to put um, I, th I think i think um, we do like to put some tongue-in-cheek jokes in there uh but i think it, uh, with the style of the um, images yes. shown on the ai mvp cards which isn't really uh, typical i think it looks really good thank you thank you thank you but i think it's it's something that people need to get used to in a sense like when, when I, I remember when we launched uh, eon trespass odyssey and people were also a bit iffy on on the is it gonna work like this is is it fantasy is it technology is it giant mecha like what what what, <laughs> what was this and i think we 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 convinced people that this is something that we can I, coherently create i think that you've done uh you've done so yeah um yeah there's people on borgengi at work right now <laughs> i know i know i've, I've been i've been uh, watching i always watch always you are the the presence after all <laughs> yeah i had a, a question um looking at the the cards and the the, the general mm -hmm. um um unit on the battlefield with some uh, i don't know what's the name of them in the in the game uh, some sort of minions that that go around yeah we call we call them we call them actually we call them mobs that's uh, a great yeah yeah there's, there's 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 several like there, there's mobs uh, and there's boss battles but um, including in in the boss like we we have uh, like we we have um a few ranks of creatures you, you can fight vassals you can fight of course kings uh dragons devils did you face any challenge for designing uh, mob encounters or designing things around the idea of mobs rather than the idea of uh, boss battlers, but then the idea of uh, boss battlers? Because the two can be quite different. Uh, you don't want to take as long to fight a mob that you take to, the, to fight a boss. Uh, yeah. You want to be able to fight multiple of them, but you don't want to overcrowd the battlefield too much. So what kind of a challenge have you encountered during the design phase? and? What do you think that you've done? Challenge have you encountered during the design phase, and what do you think that you've done that uh, to make it interesting? Well, well, it, it was quite a challenge in that um, we didn't want to have a completely different system for fighting mobs in the game, but at the same time we couldn't use the um, regular in the game, but at the same time we couldn't use the um, regular system we, we had uh, in place for for larger monsters because it really um, prolonged the battle so the so the mob battles are really different i think they, they're really different in, in in the flavor and in how they like there, there's there's really a lot of and bp mechanics but they escalate differently and you fight, like um for example the bp deck um, or the bp cards actually for for the mobs um, actually depicts individual mobs uh, with individual stats and individual uh, uh, time so you can target it by its bp yeah yeah, yeah. although 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 we will have uh, um, um, area of effect um, night attacks in the game so we can really line them up and and kill a few uh, in one go 
um, because that's that's a fun like tactical thing to do. Okay. Um, because that's that's a fun like tactical thing to do. Okay. So uh, I think I get it. Each of the standees has a little blue shield with a number on it, and that will relate yeah. to some of the cards. Yeah. Yes. yes exactly. That's very clear. Exactly. And and um, sometimes you like when, when you you really don't know exactly and and um sometimes you like when, when you, you really don't know who you are attacking at first if when, when you attack you you get that bp card and uh it may show uh, well it shows who, who you're fighting with but um, and if you kill them that's fine uh, that's great for you actually uh if you don't they stay on the board for you actually uh if you don't they stay on the board with with that card so you know this is for example this is the that chaplain you, you don't want to have the, the chaplain on the battlefield anytime, so uh, he's a priority target for, for for this battle, for example. Because uh, a lot of a lot of those mobs have um, reveal may not be um, as, as as more than one activates during a, a monster round in the game. You, you really need to be on your on your toes. So the, they are the mob battles are quicker than than boss battles, but they can also be deadly if if you let the um creatures have their way or try to isolate the weakest link from the party. yeah fun times as we are talking about um, many components uh, of the game i wanted to ask you something because uh last week i think it was you revealed the exact size of the week i think it was you revealed the exact size of the eon trespass odyssey box which is I, I think them. it's the biggest board game <laughs> box I've ever seen. Uh, maybe I haven't seen everything, but uh, it's the biggest one I've seen. It's uh, a kid-sized so coffin. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's the biggest one I've seen. It's uh, a kid-sized so coffin. Yeah, yeah it's... and uh, <laughs> it, it made me a bit afraid for my shelf space. Um, <laughs> so do you have plans to get that big with Kingdoms Fallen? Or do you have plans to contain the box uh, in a volume that still fit in a very fake brand of shelves? <laughs> well, uh, not, not the last one, like not, not the latter. We, we, they, they, the, box of, uh, the boxes of Kingdoms Fallen will be still bigger than, than your regular um, board game box. Mm-hmm. As you can, if, if, if as you can see, the prototype is is a rather, uh, and it's just a small sample of what's what's inside. So so the box w- w- um, will be a bit la- uh, bit. It's gonna be a lot larger. It's not gonna be as large as um, as the Eon Trespass uh, box, uh, because we're doing we're structuring this um, a bit differently this time. Okay. We're, we're we're a bit differently this time. Okay. We're, we're we're, the standees we're, probably will help uh, gain a bit of space. I don't know. Yeah, because on, on, on one on one on one hand we've got we've got the mobs. Um, on the other we're we're gonna do um, each kingdom separately, but still on the, on another front we're gonna have more creatures per kingdom than we have um, creatures per kingdom than we have um, monsters in ATO per cycle. So so it's gonna be different. It's it's I, I would have to check the the preliminary um, box sizes it's it's going to be it's going to be out there but it's not going to be as big as um, as uh, ATO so you will have 12 small boxes the small boxes <laughs> not small and not too yeah <laughs> that's, that's, that's that. um but yeah yeah well, well we 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 don't really um, we this is something I'm, I'm I always struggle with in that I I don't like really like those Smaller, like I, I always struggle with in that I, I don't like really like those smaller, like I, I as a as a gamer I, I do like to have a few larger boxes, um, than to get like thirty boxes from Kickstarter and and then I need to repack them because okay this this one only contains a specific thing that I would like to contains a specific thing that I would like to have in my core box and. Yeah, etc. Et yeah, et yeah. I, I'm um, with you on that one for sure. One of my favorite boxes of all time, uh, or boxes uh, in plural, is the ones that came with Deep Madness, which just mm-hmm. you take all of the boxes of stuff and you just put them in there, and I've got two boxes: one for miniatures, one for game components. Yeah. The Res Arcana okay. insert was uh, was made in advance for two expansions over three years, and it still mm-hmm. gets everything in the base box. 
Nice. Well, we for for Eon Trespass Odyssey, that's one of the reasons uh, we opted for uh, a larger box for the expansions in there. So, for example, if people want to sleeve everything, then they're gonna have the space for five cycles. And yeah, so so here we um, we estimate a box. <laughs> don't want to. Don't want to. Uh, I would have to look. I, I just want to know if I have to buy another shelf. <laughs> another house. No, no, no. It won't no, happen. I don't, I don't think. No, I have I a 104 square meters for two plus a cat. I think that's enough. But shelves, that's another matter. If, if it at all influences your decision, I do have a spare house. I could put it all in, so go nuts. <laughs> well, well, well uh, uh, larger than the largest Eon Trespass miniature. So. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so I've, I've, I've put one near uh, Temenos, and the Temenos looks like... More than the Babelian <laughs> Lunacy? Um, Babylon Lunacy, it's 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 a like it's a hard comparison because it's it's uh, not ready. It's to- the, you, you mean the original one uh, or the new one? Uh, the original one was actually I was yeah. thinking of the new one, but uh, yeah, the original one is okay. It's uh, I, I think it's a bit crooked. The the new one a bit more crooked. Yeah, we, it's 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 a bit more dynamic, I think, which is a good thing because in, in really re- like like it it. Most of our our creature designs are really dynamic, really menacing, and that one uh, wasn't doing it for us. Um, I'm still still waiting for a production copy of of that one so I can measure it properly as it stands. Uh, it's it's larger still than than Temenos. The, the pictures may not, not may not show it, but but it's still it's still a big big miniature. Uh, but the dragons with all their wings are are still bigger in that they they've really got that board space uh, uh, covered and as as the board game uh, the board the battle board and Kingdom's Fallen is um, a lot smaller than in Eon Trespass Odyssey um, it's gonna get a m- m- much more crowded quickly um, yeah so it's it's uh, um, th- there's there's a, there's a few things we're doing with the Kingdom's Fallen mechanics that may not look like we're doing something differently uh but we are because uh, things like changing the base movement speeds of of things or changing the board board um, uh, size really influences um, everything in the game uh you you'll see with the prototype i got to say i resign of the devour dragon with so much lifted up away from the board allowing miniatures to stand near it without too much collision yeah, that's yeah, it's, great it's, it's, i think it's one of my favorites it's and it's it's awesome and it's large and it's menacing it's I <laughs> really like it too and it's it's going to be fun mechanically um because <laughs> you, you you could talk about this <laughs> i know i know but i mean i'm, I'm... I was I was PR trained for this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we called you to talk, so yeah, let's have a talk. So talk. Yeah, let's have a talk. So talk. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it, it, it devours things, so that's that's probably a big hint of what what it can do and. The, the, like we we do like to, like we, we, either with Eon Trespass Odyssey or with Kinos Polar now we really like to make every counter really unique um, and it's something I think you you you'll, you'll find out really soon with with Eon Trespass Odyssey that it's that those creatures those, those primordials are dramatically different from each other it's the, the basics of of the mechanics are of course the same but how you approach them is, is really really different you need how you approach them is, is really really different you need to think of really different strategies to to um, beat each one of them um, and that's one of the reasons why it takes so long uh, to to develop because a new a really new um, dynamic concept requires a lot of testing a new a really new um, dynamic concept requires a lot of testing for example the chimera has a lot more uh, wounds. It's got two um, two wound stacks, for example, um, which you which you need to manage. Um, it's got the changing state, um, which you which you need to manage. Um, it's got the changing states that really influence how you approach it, and it's got the vantage point mechanics. 
um, it, it pushes you around on the like pushback is a mechanic of 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 Ian trespass, but um, it's it's only a keyword. While and I think people will, will really like it. Like it's it's not more of the same. You'll be playing the game a long time, but each time you uh, you move forward and you uncover something new, it's really really new. Yeah, we we'll call gelatinous cubes uh, this episode too. <laughs> <laughs> the return of the well, chimera i i am i love the key the king, the king in bloom, bloom. Yeah. yeah the the, the dragon tree uh, the the artwork of, of the whole kingdom i think it is the flower castle sorry it's just gorgeous yeah. and so we'll, we'll, we'll... great in a creepy hmm? way like it's pretty and it's unnerving and it's uh, yeah who, thank you who is it who is the artist behind a lot of this like it's pretty and it's unnerving and it's uh, yeah who thank you who is it who is it the artist behind a lot of this stuff or, or you know who's painting it's the actually direction? it's it's actually it's actually uh, this one is actually pretty uh what's the word it's 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 a lot of artists doing this one like i am um, um who's painting off it's the actually direction. it's it's actually it's actually uh, this one is actually pretty uh what's the word it's 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 a lot of artists doing this one like i am um, uh, the the dragon for example is mateusz leonard himself um and i have to check for for like we with mateusz leonard himself um and i have to check for for like we we've got this whole board of artists working on we, we, we try to um, have one artist do uh, kingdom just to have a but uh, for this one we we wanted to have a few uh, uh, well actually we have three mobs because they also have the pumpkin head but um, we've got the pumpkin head um, minions uh, mobs we've got the um, bloom aristocracy um, which which are the flower people and we also have gloom aristocracy which is the in the flowers and the mushrooms yeah uh, that's correct <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's biologically correct yeah <laughs> yeah and there's king uh, artichoke yeah and, and you, you can even see that like we we hinted it um, with the with the king in bloom as you can see he's being uh, slowly consumed by king in bloom as you can see he's being uh, slowly consumed by by uh uh by fungi from 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 his feet up saprophytes like the, the, yeah there's yeah the, the, so so yeah so there's there's really really fun stuff here you know that's actually cool yeah <laughs> yeah the, the, so so yeah so there's there's really really fun stuff here you know that's actually cool yeah <laughs> i i'm checking the pictures now yeah <laughs> hi editing alexia here Something broke during the recording of the episode, so we missed uh, one minute-ish of uh, Marcin talking. And that's where we're going to go, uh, go back. For, for the last month, it was increasingly hard to work, and we had a COVID outbreak uh, a while ago, and almost all of our employees are now uh, COVID positive and, and sick, uh, including our two graphic designers. So it delayed the, the, the rule books a bit in that sense that the, we, we created both of the um, text documents and the story storybook that encompasses the kingdom uh, kingdom book and four night books is already uh, done today and the uh, um, rule book should be done uh, tomorrow we had to um, get some outs uh, had to um, get some outs uh, um, outside help uh, to to just uh, lay them out uh, but we're managing so yeah so the, everything should be ready by tomorrow. I can, uh, yeah. Okay. The... Speaking more generally about uh, COVID, did you anticipate? Yeah. Okay. The... Speaking more generally about uh, COVID, did you anticipate any future outbreaks or stuff like that by changing the team organization a bit for Kingdom for Long, or uh, did you have already something established that worked? The board gaming business is, I think, one of this is this is one of the that worked. The board gaming business is, I think, one of this is this is one of those businesses that really um, benefits from being in one room together, and 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 playing the games and checking everything out. Um, so um, when when we could, we worked from the office when 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 the when we know we knew that everyone's vaccinated and that. It, we are between waves. We did get tested once, like <laughs> just, 
this is a bit paranoid, but whenever again someone sneezed, uh, everyone was already like, should he, should he get tested? And whenever <laughs> someone someone uh, got sick, we we of course send them uh, got sick. We we of course send them send them home. Let, 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 let's let's check that. And we I think uh, had I don't know five periods of um, prolonged um, home office throughout the whole uh, pandemic. And that when 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 it start, when it starts to get a bit worse and the numbers start to go up, uh, there's a lot of um, out um, outsourced or, or there's a lot of people working from from home already. Uh, all our graphics um, to the to the illustrators and 3D modelers are um, working remotely, and we uh, always worked remotely with with Konrad and with Mateusz, accustomed to working over long distances. Uh, but it did like th th those uh, those prolonged uh, home office uh, periods really did influence uh, the testing the most. Um, in that it's it's really not the same to to go over a game in in TTS. Yeah, yeah, but like playing in solo, you have always warm reactions to stuff happening, uh, which you would more excited about uh, if you were playing with people yeah, in the room. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, and and we of course we also had like tr throughout the whole pandemic, I think we lost several months uh, between tr throughout the whole pandemic. I think we lost several months uh, between people, like because everything everything is 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 uh, becoming delayed. It's it's like a domino effect. So if 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 one graphic designer or illustrator gets sick and he's out for ten days, and we need that that thing he was working on, we that that thing he was working on, we need to delay something and then that delays something else and then we miss a deadline for shipping something, etc. etc. So so I think it's it's got a major impact overall. Not in one in one particular moment, but overall uh, over the it's it's I we I think we'll be like it's two years now. Right? I think finger on that one. Yeah, yeah. Well 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 this this this, this Omicron wave really like took took Pol Poland by surprise somehow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah by always, surprise. Always, 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 yeah. It's always by surprise. So, uh, so yeah. So, 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 no one, no one's in a critical state. Everyone's just sick, um, with, with mild to, to middling, uh, symptoms. Uh, and I'm, I'm expecting everyone to get back to full health, uh, in a week or two, but that's all we wish to you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for in a week or two, but that's all we wish to you. Yeah, thank you. Th thank you, thank you. That that's one of the reasons why why we also um, um, we we originally wanted to have the campaign start a little bit earlier in the month, but I was anticipating something like this could happen, so I I, I didn't. I was anticipating something like this could happen, so I I, I didn't announce. The, the the date the exact date before I knew that we could deliver everything we wanted to finish the rulebook and storybook in 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 the reviewers' hands and to be published we wanted the TS mod to be finished um yeah so we wanted everything so we wanted everything to be to be ready for the for the launch well I for one think uh, given the circumstances you guys have done an impressive amount of work on both projects it's been like a joy to see these posts come out since October. And mm -hmm. also, you know, hear about the progression in uh, Aeon Trail impressed as heck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's that's a lot coming from you. I, I remember the, the, some of the few notes that you gave us on on the ATO prototype that I uh, took to heart. So there's there's no auto wounds in the game. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you put a load of systems in to punish players for attack any, and then you give the players a way to bypass that system, they're going <laughs> to bypass that system. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So, so yeah. So okay. So if if we are talking gameplay now, uh, I would like, uh, I would love to know if you have something to share about the procedural generate procedural. I I think it's something uh, like. Uh, I don't know that cells maybe where you put stuff which should be there, then you put other random stuff and get everything gets randomized. I, I think you partially answered to that when we talked about uh, personal mm -hmm. character stories. But uh, if you could elaborate, sure, sure. So so every every kingdom will have a few different uh, kingdom decks 
in, in, in the demo, it's it's four um, decks that vary in size from mini American to really, really large um, places. And um, whenever you're on, on a map card um, places, and um, whenever you're on, on a map card, for example, it's a street or a square or another district, uh, you'll have to choose which way you go. And you will choose that based on a few factors. One of the factors is um, what clues that based on a few factors. One of the factors is um, what clues um, you will gain going in that direction. Um, that's one of the most important things to, to take into account when you when you move. Um, because each each knight may be looking for some particular clues. Um, they may, they may be some negotiating between the knights. Um, but we we designed it in such a way that some of the clues, uh, if if you if you do gather clues, some of the clues overlap because everything influences everything. And when I talk about the gaining uh, gaining clues, you may think, oh well, this is gonna lead to um, to conflict or something like that. But bring the yeah, you, you the, say the, the, how much you want to sacrifice, right? Yeah, how much? Yeah, how much? Or, or how much you need? Sometimes you know how much you need. Sometimes you you you're gonna want to have as many as possible, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Sometimes you're looking for something specific and not clues at all. So yeah, so when you're when you're on a map card, you where you want to go based on the clues that are offered, but those uh, those uh, roads also show you what tile size or map size you're gonna use when you go there. So that's another thing to consider because the the, the larger the tiles, uh, the better the rewards there, clues and other stuff. But they also make you more visible to the denizens of the kingdom, uh, raising your threat level. And when your threat level goes over ten, you 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 need to evacuate the kingdom, and you're basically or either dead or just failed. Yeah, I think I saw something like cobalt cards. Yeah, yeah I that's, saw that's... you die, you live. <laughs> <laughs> well, here it's actually you just you just <laughs> just die. You, in, in, that, in that sense, that if you go if, if your threat level is, is ever over ten, you you you'll just toast. Um, so yeah, so it's it's uh, those those few expectations and those uh, and and your goals, and it's also managing how the board is created because if you if you create a space that cannot hold a, another card. You can't put a card there, so uh, you're you're closing some of the ways. Um, and there are other <laughs> things. There are there are, there are encounters that may make close paths to you, open new ones, open shortcuts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there are also places where you need to be to um, fight the boss. Um, so there's a lot of tactical thinking in in how you go through the dungeon. Um, so there's a lot of tactical thinking in, in how you go through the dungeon. So by procedurally generated, in, in, I mean that um, on one hand, these cards come in shuffled decks, but on the other hand, you've got a pretty good idea what can happen next, and you know where you want to go, and the got a pretty good idea what can happen next, and you know where you want to go, and the um, the things you need are guaranteed if you go there. So, um, in that sense, you may um, enact the strategy of moving to the kingdom. So, you gave us this fantastic way of exploring in um, Aeon Trespass Odyssey, Aeon Trespass Odyssey, and then you've gone back and now you're giving us a whole new explore, exciting way of exploring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's something like we, we wanted to do something completely completely different from, from Aeon Trespass. So, 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 so and, and that's how this system was born. And it does allow for for um, uh, uh, and it's still fresh and um, and there are cards that you add to those decks. There are new cards, new type type of cards that may uh, enter the game. And there are even uh, some fun stuff that we do with with other components that might become uh, map cards, for example. And there's this there's also this the possibility of of of, of going on 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 really like. Side uh, side dungeons, in that in that sense that well the, the, there's the, this 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 system really unlocked a part of creativity that we we couldn't use with Eon Trespass Odyssey, the, this 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 uh, desserts and uh, and and, and, this, and this, there was really something really alluring to 
to us in the promise of, of a game that's both uh, really um, roguelike, uh, so replayable, but still really narratively and tactically driven. Um, because we, we, we don't really see that much of, 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 um, of both done. The really play ADs sometimes. Yeah, I was, I was going to talk about ADs. <laughs> yeah. I played Hades. I play. I finished Hades. <laughs> so, so but yeah. But did you really finish it? Which ending? <laughs> I'm uh, just the basic ending. Just the okay. basic ending. But I did play it fairly. Like I think I've played it for ten hours or something. Just the okay. basic ending. But I did play it fairly. Like I think I've played it for ten hours or something like that. So okay. for, so so a fair bit. Um, and yeah, and I I really like how how they uh, how they do it there. choices that you have to make in your story and that our story is um, uh, is the sum of, of all the stories of the night so um, let's say like four people were characters and they would interact during their uh, their playthroughs and, and these things and that will permanently influence uh, their characters in probably surprising ways too like this is not this is not adventure well, it is in a, in a sense, but um, there are choices that you make that like you don't you don't choose the good way or the bad way. Um, some of the that you that you accrue over the time you, you're playing. So, um, if if you, for example, take the selfish choices all the time, then at, at some point the game will just uh, refuse to give you the altruistic choice and and push you farther choice and, and push you farther uh, because it, it, it knows now that you're a selfish person and why would it even offer you the, the chance to do something else what, what, what do you designers have against altruistic choices every game keeps every game keeps keeps uh, uh, not allowing or rewarding less for altruistic choices. <laughs> it's it's a big it's becoming a trend. Uh, could you could you could you it's becoming a trend? Uh, could you could you could you repeat that? What what, what uh, do they... Selfless choices are often uh, not the best option in a yeah. beginning sense. <laughs> well, we we uh, I don't want to spoil things, but. We, we do play with that in that, of, in a sense, maybe uh, more uh, less beneficial in the short run, but they're they're more beneficial in the long run. Well, uh, yeah, that's that's to. that's one of the like that. The, there's a sociological theory about that, uh, and there was even a machine test done on how you should your interactions with other other people, and I think the winning strategy was. Um, I don't know what's the, what's the English name for it, but something like um, restricted trust in that you should always be good unless you know the uh, other person isn't. So it's, it's other person isn't. So it's, it's as, as in being burned a few times is less penalizing than cheating someone and gaining something bigger, but then losing credibility in, in your uh, other interactions uh yeah <laughs> so i uh yeah <laughs> so i i had a, a quick question uh sure, sure. Not, not, not to interrupt you but uh no, no, no. I'm, yeah. I'm done um in a lot of the game design, sometimes you work on a, on a system and you think, oh, this is really cool, but this doesn't really fit the game. Or the designer will then reuse those discarded systems in other games that fit them better. Uh, was there something that you first developed for uh, ATO that then you decided, oh, actually, this would work a lot better in Kingdoms Fallen? Or did, did that not happen in, in development? Yeah, that's, that's, that's an interesting part from, from Eon Trespass. You see, we just left on the cutting floor. Like, we didn't try to... I, 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 I uh, live by the philosophy of uh, killing your darlings. Yes. In that if, 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 if something doesn't work, then maybe it doesn't work. And um, so, so, so the fun thing is that the game, like, its scope 
trip to, to talk about. I, I The last, I don't know, eight months I've spent on cutting things that I thought that were unnecessary for the, I mean, for the experience. That's always how you, you reach perfection. You create as much as you can and then you cut, you cut everything that is uh, superfluous instead of just adding on to a pile and then hoping that thing that is uh, superfluous instead of just adding on to a pile and then hoping that at some point it becomes better. And I've cut around a sixth of the of the story. So there were <laughs> there were six six hundred thousand words written, and now there's five hundred. Mm. Six hundred thousand words written, and now there's five hundred. Mm. You so, took that that big block of stone, a big block of marble, and you chiseled it down to that statue. Yes. Yeah. You don't yeah. just uh, add stickers to the uh, to the stones. Well, and I. It's, and it's, uh, yeah. No, no, go on, carry on. I just wanted to say that it's a surprise. Uh, yeah. No, no, go on, carry on. I just wanted to say that it's a surprisingly cathartic feeling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to do it. Right. So I had I had a question that came from two people about the mm -hmm. same character but slightly different variants. Uh, Kara from the Last Andy uh, wants to know why Kara is spelt with a K. Uh, Kara from the Last Andy uh, wants to know why Kara is spelt with a K. And my partner, <laughs> my partner Sara, wants to know why uh, Kara is spelt uh, Kara when. She looks. Kara looks just like my partner Sarah. <laughs> like it's. It's. I'm not never going to get to play with Kara the Wilder because Sarah's got dibs. Well, you, you can just buy little stickers what? and add them to the cards. To why? Turn that why you K spell? Into an S. Why you spell Sarah with a K? That's not what I said. <laughs> Um, it, it, more importantly, I think this just goes to show how much that character speaks to people. Um, just well, for the little you've shown. I... <laughs> <laughs> at this point um because i think this is um uh, what, what's the word it's it's artistic liberty i think <laughs> it's, it's the word um uh, yeah no 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 uh, uh go, go for it but but we we we, we do this and that we, we we do want to have um a really broad representation of 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 people of our different um, nations, races, sizes, um, sexes, etc., uh, and I think it's it creates a really, really um, like great diverse cast. You can a lot of people, think, and there's always someone you, you you feel that is is speaking to you, and it also creates the opportunity for storytelling in that. Um, one of the things, one of the challenges at the start of, of, of working on Kidness for Learn was, uh, okay, we're going to have uh, the, the, the main character. How do you make uh, people in armor really stand out without making them like sup like those armors super, super um, detailed and, or, or, or super um, complicated? Uh, and I think we found a way, and I think that uh, every character in, in Kidness for Learn is going to be and I'm glad that, and we also, yeah, we, we, this having female knights was, of course, a no brainer for us. Yeah, well, you, you've already succeeded with Renhold, uh, the mage knight, uh, 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 <laughs> Sir, Sir Sonch, and little Sir with the monkey, and of course, um, the, 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 is it the flesh knight, the chef? Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the, it's, it's it's not just it's not like this is this is a part of his of his tradition and it's for for him it's 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 really played played straight like he he eats monsters to get stronger. Uh, yeah, does he hang the meat off him so that when they hit him it tenderizes it for cooking later? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he 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 uses um a lot like he no, but he 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 uses um a lot like he he uses a lot of different meat tactics, let's say. Um, uh, and that he, he does have lures, he does have um, provisions, he uses like those cured meats uh, have really like almost magical properties to him. So, uh, have really like almost magical properties to him. So, oh, so, so we, we have no German speakers, so the Fleisch Ritter will stay as it is now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's 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 that it seems like it. It seems that 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 small controversy wasn't a controversy at all. Yeah, so it wasn't a controversy at all. Yeah, so he will beat his meat uh, with uh, characters and stuff and so on. Uh, <laughs> How long did it take you to lower the tone that much? I mean, you showed some remarkable restraint for once. <laughs> yeah, we we are actually closing the interview. We are, I was good. 
I, I, I said I was PR trained, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I had a quick question. Um, speaking of uh, Darling and of uh, characters that people love, uh, mm -hmm. which one is your favorite boss so far? From Kingdoms Forlorn. How about how about both? One of each. <laughs> well, um, for um, ATO, I think it's gonna be the Pursuer. Ooh, yes, that uh, makes sense. Because that's 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 uh, I, I I I really like its its design. I like his mechanics, and I li I really like its its design. I like his mechanics, and uh, his mechanics really mesh well with with the story around uh, around it. And there's a lot of mystery. There's there's fun stuff going around the pursuer, and it's one of the more terrifying, I think, in that it does does uh, show as, uh, show an atypical behavior for a primordial, um, as, uh, especially when you when you first encounter it in in the campaign. And for kingdoms forlorn, it's it's. Uh, it's hard to choose because uh, for me it's uh, both look and mechanics. It's never just how cool it looks. Every uh, monster yet, um, the Night Eater is is, is awesome. I think Ooh. It's, Ooh. it's it's yeah it's 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 another one. Oh, I, the... I want to fight the Night Eater with the with the Cook Knight. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Night Eater is is great. Um, the Patriarch is really fun. Patriarch is is great. Um, the Patriarch is really fun. Patriarch of Ikor from from the Red Kingdom. Um, a really classical look um, is is the uh, the Crusader from uh, from the Red Kingdom too. The Red Kingdom, I think, I think the Red Kingdom is gonna surprise a lot of people with how it looks. People with how it looks. Uh, I, I, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, the the yeah, I, I don't know. Like um, mm. hmm. that that's the, the it's the Red Kingdom with the Red Keep. For yeah. Because yeah, I re yeah. yeah, I remember the artwork of the the wizard knight with the mushroom hat stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. for, that, for that cook knight uh, is uh, any better than Flash Ritter. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I think that we were not gonna change change that one. Though, <laughs> though, though it did make me more more um, uh, more sensitive to to using languages in 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 our game because yeah we, we can have a good laugh anyway so yeah. uh, and what else um, I'm, I'm like there's there's so much <laughs> there's actually so so many so many there's the swamp knight gelatin's cube uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, of course, we we need to have gelatinous cube uh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, there's the bog witch for 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 Sunken Kingdom. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 it's, I, it's the one I'm I'm like I, I because he's he's um, he, he's one of the first we created and he's more more fleshed out. He's more 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 designed than than. And the others, as 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 he comes uh, in in the principality of stone, he's got a uh, very creepy design to him as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, and 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 devour dragon too. Like I think from the dragons, I think devour dragon and uh, bloom dragon are are the top for me um, currently. Mm. Just just to check, there's the bloom dragon, the tree dragon. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Mushroom, yeah. It's mushroom dragons bloom in 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 the, in yeah. the barony. It's the mushroom dragon. I'm well. That I I saw it. I was like, that's a tree dragon. You just told me it's a mushroom dragon. I am really excited now. Me too. Yes. I can't wait to to try it. Fungal dragon, fantastic. <laughs> waiting, waiting for the truffle expansion. <laughs> <laughs> and there's and there's <laughs> and there's and there's the I think knight. that. Um, there's the I think the holy dragon I think we should have it this week finished it's it's gonna be a really really holy dragon is from the red kingdom I we, we haven't shown him it yet uh, and I think it's it's really it's got a really yet uh, and I think it's it's really it's got a really really distinctive uh, look to it and there's there's also Swandra Swandra is awesome and I don't know if we're gonna even see it in uh, in the campaign. But it's awesome. Well, uh, it, it, very exciting. 
Well, I can hear. Yeah, I, I've gone back to look at. I've gone back to look at the fungus tree dragon again. Mm -hmm. It does look very cool. Um, is there anything that you want to add before we wrap up the episode? Um, well, the... <laughs> there's like there's so much we could we could uh, we could talk about. Really, it's <laughs> one uh, once the the Kickstarter launches, but uh, you'll probably be very busy. Well, I, I hope I'm not as busy as as during the ATO campaign, as we've got more, more employees now. So, uh, hopefully, the the workload will be spread more evenly among, among us. Um, so we st we'll see if, if if it'll be a pleasure to be to be back, and there may be a lot more stuff to to talk about once you both dig into the the rules and see what we've got to offer during the campaign. So and maybe actually playing the uh, the TTS mod. Once yeah, it comes absolutely, out. absolutely. Well then. Thank you for for this uh, this interview. Uh, it was really good to to un thank you for for this uh, this interview. Uh, it was really good to to have you around, and uh, I think that uh, every one of us and all listeners are going to be really happy about learning all about Kingdoms for Long. Uh, for all listener, you can catch us up uh, at uh, patreon.com slash or of at uh, patreon.com slash or follow us at the last on Twitter or subscribe to your preferred podcast app. So it's going to be a goodbye from Alessio. Hi, bye bye. From Audrey. Bye bye everyone. Uh, from Fen. Hello. From our guest Marcin. And have a good evening and see ya here ya <laughs> <laughs> with pleasure and for myself and remember that the second e in standy stands for ignite egg 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 egg, 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 egg. egg. yeah <laughs> <laughs>